Hello guys, Soft Tony here and in today's video we will be creating a modern and cool looking slideshow here in After Effects. This is a cool technique that everyone can use to make their unique slideshow or intro and very easy to create, we will go step by step. And before we start, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, hit the like button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. And without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and start creating this modern and appealing slideshow. Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create a new composition, hit Ctrl or Command plus N on your keyboard or hit on this little icon, this is gonna be final like usual, full HD 1920x1080, 30 frames per second and duration, you can type here your own number, but for me it's okay to go around 40 seconds. Now hit OK and it's time to drag and drop our media here in the timeline. I already have footage from pixabay.com, this is free footage, ok, just drag and drop here in the timeline. And now let's make further adjustments. Now hit S for scaling, set up the first keyframe here at 0 frames, let's type 120, then go to around 6 seconds and let's type 100. And now as you can see we have cool movement of our first media O1. Ok, now let's create text, hit Ctrl plus T or go on this uh, little icon, horizontal type tool and let's click here on our preview and I will do random text, creative, ok, align it to the center, go here and find a line and if you can't find a line option just go window and you will find it here. Now open up this little triangle, open up this animate option, find position and now let's go here on add option, do not go here on animate again, just go add find here property and go here enable per character 3D. Now open up this range selector here in animator 01, open up this advanced tab and let's change shape from square to ramp up, ok and for the ease high and ease low let's go to around 50%, ok and let's also type for the set position minus 3000. And now as you can see we have cool shape of our text. Now let's animate this cool creative text, go here at 0 frame, set up the first keyframe for offset and let's type minus 100, then go to around 2 seconds and let's type here 100. And now as you can see when we hit 0 we have this cool animation of our 3D creative text. You can also select keyframes, go right click, keyframe assistance and Let's go easy ease or just hit F9 on your keyboard. And now when we hit 0 we have also ease of our creative text. Ok, this was the first part of our tutorial, now let's go right click to create new solid. This is gonna be circle 01, ok, also 1920 by 1080 hit ok, go here in the facts and preset, find circle effect, drag and drop onto the circle solid layer. Ok, and here let's make further adjustments, let's go select this option invert circle, for the edge let's go to edge radius, and for the radius let's go to around 530, somewhere around here, and for the edge radius go to around 350. And now we have a cool shape like this, go here in the facts and preset and let's type fill effect, drag and drop onto the circle 01 solid layer, and let's change color to maybe this cool grey color, hit ok, and now let's change blending modes, if you can find blending modes just hit here toggle switches and modes, and let's go and find overlay. If you have too bright image just play around with the blending modes, and in every moment you can go here in fill options, fill effect and change color according your needs. To me this is looking awesome, and now just hit ok. And now in our finals we have this cool circle shape and our 3D text animation. Now let's make this animation even better, hit Q on your keyboard or go here and find ellipse tool, ok, and make sure that our fill is set to none and stroke is set to 1, ok, unselect everything here, and now hold Ctrl, Shift and Alt at the same time, ok, and now let's draw a perfect circle, and while you're holding Ctrl, Shift and Alt you can also hold spacebar to move it to the left or to the right side according your needs, I will do this shape somewhere around here, 
and just reposition the shape wherever you want okay and now as you can see we have this cool line cool circle okay move it up a bit use arrows on your keyboard left or right you can also hit on this option titles and action save just for better viewing okay and now hit on this shape layer 01 open up this add option find trim pads okay and then go to around two seconds set up the first keyframe here in trim pads for end parameter go at zero frames and let's type here zero now select both of the keyframes hit f9 and go to graph editor and draw a shape like this if you can find shape like this just go right click and you will find edit speed graph here and now when we hit zero we have this cool animation of our line in every moment you can play around with the keyframes move it closer or further away from the first keyframe as i already mentioned everything is pretty much up to you hit zero and our animation is looking really nice okay now let's create another solid layer go right click to create new solid layer i will call this one small circle also 1920 by 1080 hit ok now select this solid layer small circle hit q on your keyboard or go here on the ellipse tool and also hold ctrl and shift and alt on your keyboard and draw a small shape like this ok this is looking cool now select it again hold ctrl and just double click to move the anchor point all the way here to the center okay now hit v or go on this uh, little icon selection tool and reposition our shape to maybe somewhere around here and let's go to effects and preset find ramp effect drag and drop on the small circle and for the first start of the ramp go somewhere around here for the end of the ramp maybe somewhere around here in every moment you, you can play around with the colors i'll do maybe this black and maybe gray color according your needs i'm just showing you the way as i already mentioned everything is pretty much up to you now hit p for position hold alt on your keyboard and then left mouse click i will just type expression wiggle open and close bracket 1 comma 20 and now when we hit zero we have this cool movement also of our small circle now what we can do is to duplicate this small circle hit ctrl plus d or go edit and then duplicate hit v and reposition it maybe somewhere around here and hit m for this second mask open up this mask property and for the mask expansion you can make it smaller or bigger according your needs maybe something like this also let's duplicate this once again and reposition it to maybe somewhere around here also hit m again open up this mask property and maybe make it smaller just a bit okay in every moment you can change colors it's everything up to you now hit zero to make preview and this is looking awesome now let's create few adjustment layers go right click to create new adjustment layer this is gonna be lens flare okay go here in the facts and preset find lens flare effect drag and drop onto the adjustment layer okay and for this lens flare let's move it somewhere around here this is already looking cool and let's animate this flare center set up the first keyframe here at zero frames then go to around six or seven seconds and let's move it all the way to the right side or somewhere around here okay you can also play around with the lens types second option third option whatever fits to you now hit zero and our lens is looking awesome maybe to change to this first option this is looking cool okay now let's create another adjustment layer go right click to create another adjustment layer this is gonna be light sweep okay go here in effects and preset again find a light sweep effect drag and drop onto the adjustment layer and this is already looking cool just go here to the center for readjusting this option for the edge thickness type zero also edge intensity zero and for the width you can make it bigger or smaller whatever you like okay for the sweep intensity instead of this 25 maybe this is too bright maybe to go to around 10 or 15 maybe intensity maybe 10 okay and now this is looking cool and creative maybe to go instead of 10 15 
and this is looking nice. Okay, now let's pre-compose everything, select everything or hit Ctrl plus A and go right click to pre-compose. This is gonna be part 01. Make sure to move all attributes into the new composition and then hit OK. Now let's create another solid layer. Go right click to create new solid layer. This is gonna be circle transition. Hit OK, go here in the facts and preset, find again circle effect, drag and drop onto the circle transition. Cool. And here let's also make further adjustments. Let's select this option invert circle for the radius, go to around zero, set up the first keyframe, then go to around two seconds. And let's type here 1200. And when we hit zero, this is looking cool. Now hit U to show all of the keyframes, grab them hit F9 and let's also go here to graph editor and make a curve like this. This is looking awesome and this is looking modern. What you can do, you can also add fill color, change this circle transition color, everything is up to you. Okay, for the final step, let's go here in part 01, hit Ctrl plus K to make this composition smaller. Instead of 40 seconds, I will do six seconds and then hit OK. And now when we go here in the final composition, as you can see, our final composition is 40 seconds long and our part of one composition is six seconds long. Now you can also reposition this circle transition to around six seconds. Now select part of one and circle transition, then go right click again to pre-compose. This is gonna be slide 01 and then hit OK. Also our slide 01 is six seconds long. You can also change color of this composition maybe to go I don't know purple and now let's just duplicate this slide 01 hit Control plus D and move this slide 01 to around four or five seconds and let's also duplicate here in the project window let's hit Control plus D for this slide 01 let's also duplicate this part 01 hit Control plus D now select this slide 02 and this first slide Hold Alt on your keyboard and just drag and drop here on top of the slide 01. And let's also go inside this slide 02, select this part 01, and then also from the project window select this part 02 and repeat the process. Hold Alt, drag and drop on this part 01. And now let's also open up this part 02 and repeat this with uh, media 1 and media 2. Select this media 1, I will select this media 02, hold Alt. And also, as you can see, now we have this cool animation of our media 02. And when we go back here in the final composition, hit zero. This is our first animation. And this is our second animation. And this is looking pretty much cool. You can also create easily even more slides. Just continue duplicate here in the timeline and here in the project window. And one thing that we have forgotten to do, open up this slide 02, part 02, and you can also change here text instead of this creative, I will type another text, maybe modern or something like this. And when we go here in the finals, you can also see creative and the second text modern, and this is looking awesome. All right, guys, that was everything for today's tutorial. I have shown you this cool technique. You can use it to create your own intros, promos and slideshows and so many more. OK, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider to hit that subscribe button. Take a look on my channel, on my profile for a more great tutorial. And you can also leave me a comment down below in the comment sections. And until next time, stay creative and bye bye.